Hello and welcome back to our Duelist Adventures, and, well, I should really just say that every single episode from a couple of episodes ago has been almost a uh, somewhat apocalyptic event every single time, uh, because I don't know when that crash is going to happen again, and I've had that crash three times against this army right here. So if I were to defend Kasira once again, it would result in a crash. I personally feel like I'd probably be able to defend against this army, but it is extremely significant, so obviously maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't be able to, but I am just very much crossing my fingers and hoping that they don't have enough food supply or enough cohesion to be able to make their assault work. That's the only thing that I'm counting on right here. If they do decide to go in, then, well, I'm done. That's basically it. There's uh, no nothing, nothing much else that I can do um, to prevent them from taking it, because, as I say, if the game crashes, I can't go in and defend it. That's that's just plain and simple. Plain and simple. As you can see, this is the combat strength that I'd get if I actually went into a fight with this army. It is never going to work, not in a million years. So, unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to tackle them on the uh, the battlefield. And these guys are much... Uh, they're 0.1 faster than me right now. So, technically, I could release one of my parties and then you know, and then attack, but um, that's also not going to really work out too well. So, I'm going to say that this is probably going to be the final episode. I don't really want it to be, obviously. I've tried my hardest to try and see if I could maybe upgrade my Calradia at War um, version, because apparently someone in the comments actually did mention that. They did mention that Calradia at War is the main issue when it comes to the crash. And I assume that there is, as I said before, there's some kind of um, weird uh, conflict, potentially, with a certain unit that has been added to the game. Or, at the very least, it could be an item as well, because there's a number of new items that have also been added by that mod. So I assume that's the reason why we're having some issues. I did attempt to upgrade to the latest version of Cal Radio at War to see if that would maybe make a small difference, but the game wouldn't even load then. I could get through to the main menu, but my save game wouldn't load, and that's obviously <laughs> the whole point, you know. So I just rolled back to the previous version that I was already using, and, well, I just have to cross my fingers and basically hope that they don't go in um, to this particular siege. I mean, you can see here that they're actually being quite smart about it and they're building trebuchets. But obviously trebuchets are a bit inaccurate. So our strategy is to build ballistas. And I personally feel like ballistas are the best defense against trebuchets. Ah, oh, here we go. They, they actually went in? Did they? Yeah, I believe they actually... I, I think they actually went in. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save, and we're going to try and see whether... I ah, See, this is the thing. I don't know whether the unit or units that caused the crash have been eliminated yet. That's the main issue here. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll wait a little bit of time. I'll take a look at the garrison, and I'm going to see if maybe I can head in a little bit later. Look, look at our garrison. Our garrison's actually doing fantastically well. I'm kind of surprised by that, to be honest. Wow, they're doing fantastically. You know, if I could, if only I could get in here, really. If, if I could just get in here, this would be um, fantastic. We would be able to pretty much, I think, probably defend against this opponent without too many difficulties. Look at how many they're losing in comparison to us. All right, so I'm going to save because no doubt this is going to cause a crash, but they have about 50% what they had beforehand. So I'm very much hoping that that is going to be enough to stop the crash from occurring. But if it does, then obviously we've just saved, so it's not actually that big a deal. I'm obviously just going to level these guys up to make it so that if we do actually head into a fight, we will be ready, and we'll see how that goes. Ah, seems like we have a bunch of other people to convert as well. I have been waiting in Kasira 
uh, for the most part, just to try and gain as many recruits as I possibly can. And we're going to head in there now and see what I can do. All right, so we're going to break in to help the defenders. Actually, wait a minute. Let me just save again. <laughs> Don't want to do all those level ups again. Thank you very much. So here's the thing. If I lose Kasira in this episode, that will probably be the end of the series because then what I'll do is I'll create something new and I'll either add mods that are completely compatible with the with the current version that I'm using or I'll go to like one version previously because it seems like the developers are still working on the version I'm playing on and that obviously has messed things up a little bit um, with the whole mod compatibility and everything so anyway let's do this nope there we go all right it actually did crash okay so it seems like we're going to have to allow Kasira to just go all the way and uh maybe maybe to the maybe maybe we can just cross our fingers and maybe hope i actually don't know whether that's going to work but we'll try our best all right so here we are again and uh before we go any further in the episode i just want to say thank you to those of you that left suggestions about which series you'd like to see next and uh, i've definitely taken them into account and if any any other people want to make suggestions then by all means there's the comment section for a reason and um you can do whatever you like there if you want but otherwise let's take a look uh only 19 left are you serious how did they lose what Okay, wait a minute. They had 100, and then... Oh, I suppose they're just recruits remaining or something like that. So, yeah, Kasira is going to get taken, as you can see, and now we're going to be doing battle with these guys. It's basically going to make no difference whatsoever, but I'm going to try, nevertheless, because I would like to push our uh, capabilities as far as we possibly can. It's really weird, by the way, that I'm able to enter a battle with these guys and not crash... But yet entering a siege defense causes instability. I don't know why that would actually be the case. That's really strange, isn't it? That's super, super strange. Anyway, let's go for some loose formation. We're really, really bad here. We have basically nothing. I have no troops on the battlefield whatsoever. We have very, very few. going to tell my horse archers and um, other people to charge in. Not everyone, thank you very much, but... Unfortunately, the enemy does have a huge number of horse archers. And uh, this is going to be problematic in general. I mean, there's not much I can really do about these guys, unfortunately. So, seems like it will indeed be the end of this series. Which, I gotta say, I'm really disappointed by because I love this character. I feel like this character is super fun to play. It's very dynamic. You've got to be very careful about getting shot in the face. You know? And it, it, it happens, you know? It happens. Sometimes you just get shot in the face without you actually intending to. And other times, you survive much longer than you anticipated. And it's just super fun. So, it's definitely something I'll remember for a while. It just kind of like, um, kind of like the trader. Kind of like the trader because the trader had a very unique playstyle as well and definitely something that I'd recommend checking out if you haven't already. These, the whole series is only 15 episodes so you can kind of tell how fast we were in actually capturing the entirety of Calradia. That is a full domination playlist by the way. That whole trader playlist is just me completely dominating everything in sight and uh it's it's kind of insane how fast you're able to do it if you actually put your mind to um leveling your trade skill and everything but that is indeed it that is indeed the end of the duelist series and i gotta say thank you very much for showing your support for watching the episode for basically just you know just being there you know i very much appreciate that and hopefully you will enjoy the next iteration of whatever series i may come up with i'm not entirely sure on on the idea for the next one yet but stay tuned because no doubt i'm going to come up with it within the next day or so and um I'll see what kinds of mods I may want to install. I'm going to try and keep it relatively similar to what we did this time, where they were very minimal amounts of mods. I might not go for Calradia at War again, because obviously we had a bit of an issue with it this time, 
which is kind of sad really because I personally feel like the mod is really cool. It adds a huge amount of organic, um, shall we say, skirmish potential because there are so many different parties all over the place that you kind of just go, wow, there's another party over there, there's another party over here. Obviously, it makes it kind of difficult to get caravans up and running and so on and so forth, but it's still very, very cool. Anyway, we pulled off the impossible by being able to even create our own kingdom to begin with, and, well, I think my main error that I made, with the exception of obviously making my kingdom in probably one of the hardest ways you could possibly make it, is that I made the Southern Empire too strong. I joined their faction and I basically supported them in a lot of different fights and basically just completely allowed them to have free reign of this southern area. And they're even starting to sort of monopolize a little bit of the Kuzate as well. And the, and the Batanians are also running amok over in the Sturgeon territory and the Vlandian territory because they haven't been crushed by any of the empire. The empire is obviously just focusing on the Azerai right now. So anyway, <laughs> as I say, I very much appreciate all of your support. And um, well, Wait and see what I've got in store for you next. I have no idea myself, but hopefully it's going to be a good one. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.